wealth of knowledge in sports. That's right. Uh, so Black China is um, really, really upset with the Kardashians because you know, we told you this yesterday. We broke a story that the Kardashians are, are, are lashing out at her saying, wait a minute, you're suing us? You're suing Rob? You're suing Chris? You're suing Kim over this reality show that you say we intentionally sabotaged? The reason the reality show with Rob was torpedoed is because you went into court and you got a domestic violence restraint order against him how do you do a television show with two people rob and china when he can't interact with her or go near her so you are responsible for the torpedoing of your own show well for the record there are there are ways to do that right there are ways to do a television show where people can't actually see each other for sure uh, well i mean i don't know if it, you could do the rob and black china of course you could it's a more compelling well, story that way when you have two sides of a really interesting thing that two people are passionate about and care about and both love you can tell that story shooting separately I think it's dicey, but China now has lashed back at them, and she says this is victim shaming. Yeah, I mean, it's completely victim shaming because she, Rob, she didn't tell Rob to put her nudes up online and be like, hey, guess what, everybody? Come look at um, me, the whole thing. Rob did that. He slut shamed her. No, that's not the point. That, that's really not where we're going in this, Raquel. The point is, is that she filed a domestic violence restraining order, she says, because she was in legitimate fear right. uh, for her own safety and the safety of dream so the their Kar child. So the Kardashian's position isn't that they're victim shaming her. They believe that she's a liar and that he didn't ever abuse well, her. But, but, but can't, that, that can't be their position. Because, that of course is their position. No, Why would no, they back up Rob the owns Rob? Up to, no, no, no. Rob owns up to the things that he did. He Rob said sorry to beating her? No, he did, not, he, did not, he, did not, he did not own up to no, beating he, her. He, he but hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. Let me just frame this before we argue it. <laughs> They are, the, the, the Black China is saying, look, I filed this because I was in fear. Right. The Kardashians didn't say, and your thing was bogus. They just say, you created your own mess by doing this. She's saying, look, I shouldn't be penalized if I'm in fear for my safety. She claims Rob beat her. He says he didn't. But she says, I believed it. No, but and, my... and, and you don't want to send a met. Look, I'm not. I'm not siding with her. She's just saying, you don't want to send a message to people that if you file uh, for a domestic violence restraining order, that it's your fault if bad things happen. And what, right. makes, it, what makes it even worse in this situation is the Kardashians did not need to make this argument, right? This E and the Kardashians can drop this show for whatever reason they want. Just because they don't like her, that's perfectly fine. Just because they think it's not a good enough show, that's fine too. They're sort of getting themselves in hot water with an excuse they didn't need to make. I See, I'm surprised that Kris Kardashian, she's one of the most brilliant business people in she all is, undeniably. Yeah, this is clearly a, uh, an interesting situation. Uh, you got two sides, both arguing uh, over this. You know, it's I can't believe she didn't figure out a way to use this and turn this into a television well, she, show. Look, she, she, is, she, she is making this a legitimate point that it is it just it is hard to do a show when the two people can't interact. It's just hard to do a show like that. So that is a legitimate point. China's saying, you, by making that point, you're penalizing us. Now, the wrinkle in all of this is, like you said, is Black China, which Black China really threatened because... Definitely. Well, if, you go, if you have to go file, get legal mm -hmm. paperwork and say that this man is doing this, this, not to me. Then obviously there's a situation that happens. So Raquel, so Raquel, here's the false things before. Yeah, and here's the rub, Raquel. If she really felt like she was in danger, we all saw it though, Harvey. Raquel, if she felt Dream was in danger and she was in danger, why did she drop the whole restraining order thing once uh, in return for getting twenty thousand dollars a month in child support? I think that there is still restrictions in the settlement, I'm told. No, no, no. No, in, Harvey, inside the settlement, I'm told that if she and may have dropped a restraining order, but Rob still cannot come near her. He still can't do certain things that basically it was more so to say a warning sign, say, hey, listen, I'm serious. I want you to stop doing this and leave me alone. And I'm definitely fearful about you acting crazy because that's yeah. obviously what you're doing. See, Raquel, when you're really afraid, you keep the restraining order because it allows the police to immediately immediately arrest somebody if they even come near you. If I they're agree. doing if they're doing it privately, uh, cops can't do anything. But they're and so, Harvey, and if it's in paperwork though. It doesn't matter. It, that cops will not do it. They'll say it's a civil matter. The reason you get a restraining order is so cops can say, I don't care why you went over there, the fact that you were within hundred yards of her were arresting you. And that's the advantage of getting a restraining order when you're really upset, she'll, when you're really scared. She'll still call the police if she's afraid of them, though. Whether uh, the restraining order is there or not. Yeah, police even, if getting, even if she's getting twenty thousand dollars a month, the police, the police she feels in danger, she's gonna call the 
police. I know, but you know what the police are going to say? They're going to come and they're going to break it up if something's happening. Yeah, yeah but if, 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 it depends if, if it depends on what he does. If, 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 I got to tell you, if the, if he comes in and knocks at the door and she says he's violated my our agreement, cops are going to say take it up civilly. If she has the restraining order and he's at the front door, they're going to arrest him. That's the difference. Hello, Harvey. This is your beautiful Kieta from Orlando, Florida. And I just want to say, you have to understand something. This is an epic battle between seasoned whores. You know, and that makes a big difference. You know, Harvey, China been dancing for a long time. Kim been on her back for Does a long time. Seasonal? And and if that's what China needs to do to secure her back, she doesn't think anything is wrong with that. I mean, you know, choking out somebody with an iPhone charger, I, I'm just saying, that's stuff that we all do every day, right? Can, can I ask you a question? Would you, would you watch, even if they couldn't, Black China and Rob couldn't interact and they did a docuseries on their relationship and how to raise the, how to co-parent amidst these allegations, would you watch that show? I would watch any show where I have a woman choking on somebody with an iPhone charger and dropping it for $20,000 and they have a baby and driving a Bentley. I mean, you're, seriously. You're welcome, you're welcome from the market research yeah, for that. And go, go produce that show. Okay, right, we're going to, we're going to move on. Uh, so